Hey, welcome back to another video on Oracle Fig V6. Another short video today, just going to run through the dashboard and some of the top menu items uh, real quick with you guys. So as we saw in the overview video, we've got dark mode, the dark mode button here, turn on the sun, turn on the moon, and you'll switch between your dark mode or light mode. Settings button, that'll just a convenient link to bring us to the settings menu, so that's fine. Uh, the feedback button, right, as I mentioned in the overview video, uh, you want to get us some feedback that you're having a good experience and maybe not so good an experience we want to hear about it and um, this is not for support per se we'd love you to send in a support tickets separately if you're having issues with the application but if you feel like you want to give us a uh, positive or negative feedback or you know something that you think from an experience perspective could be different let us know right uh, click the box here put in your email address and, and we can reply to you as well if needed but that's that's optional you don't need to do that okay and you can, can submit your feedback there there's the help button right uh, primarily for your license information and your uh, app version right we're on 6.2 here you can click copy this to the clipboard for convenience if you want okay and then the logout button okay simply and then you know the person that's locked in okay so running down the dashboard real quick. Okay, we've got system details here. We can refresh that. And you know, if there's any changes made, you can copy any one of these for convenience, any one of these items. Okay. Uh, we do run Laravel. We're going to do separate videos on that uh, in due course. Uh, that's the core of, of Orconfig V6 and V5. Um, and your various uh, Redis cache versions and MySQL versions. And again, a convenient link to, to settings there if you need it. Right up here at the top, you've got configuration status. So this will tell us how many devices we have. Um, and all of these links are clickable. How many devices we have in this instance of Orconfig v6. How many devices are down or unreachable um, from the Orconfig server. Uh, the total amount of configuration files downloaded. Handy to keep an eye on this. Just make sure you're not running into the millions, right? Probably we don't have an upper threshold, but just, just a convenient one to keep an eye on. Uh, probably importantly is the failed configs and again if you click on this it'll bring you to the filtered configuration device configuration screen now you're not going to want to keep these you might want to delete them for convenience and you can go ahead and do that right here but we'll do this in another, in another video uh common actions is really convenient right if you want to create a new device or view devices perhaps you want to search configs to, um th these will get you to those locations very quickly Uh, the environment status again very useful for support or for you to see we can see we have uh, you know the database is okay the cache is every everything's okay right except you know in this demo environment our disk space is almost full okay so you know at 95 percent we want that's something we, we we should probably act on urgently because you know when, when we start running up to 98 99 percent uh, we're not going to get any more downloads System backup info, again, really useful. I have no backups in this demo environment, but something to keep an eye on, right? This is your overall or config system backup. It'll back up all your configuration downloads, the database, as well as the application files. So you do want to set that up, uh, create that backup, create a scheduled task for a backup, and run that once a day or once a week, whatever is convenient for you. All or config downloads are run through the queue manager and we're going to do a separate field in the queue manager but again some high level data here on the queue manager for you to keep an eye on uh, some other convenient tables you know the latest devices added you know in case you need to get to those quickly and any devices with errors right so this is a little bit more detailed breakdown of devices down right so we've got five five devices down and you can go to devices and filter on the devices down and you'll see those there Okay, and finally, right there at the end, we've got we've got a useful getting started panel, right? You know, yeah, some basics. So we've kind of got four sections here: more config basics, advanced features, support, and learning resources. So you know, there's convenient links here from, you know, going to creating new users, setting up a system backup, like I just talked about a moment ago, configuring and testing your email settings. Right, they're probably the three things you should do, on, on your first installation um some advanced fe features right we're getting great feedback that our, our new search capability is extreme across your configuration files is extremely fast 
complaints management and how you do that. Again, we'll, we're going to do a different video, but this is all documented as well. Um, and sending configuration snippets. Um, logging a support ticket, you can log into our dashboard, send support at our config an email if you've got a subscription. Um, advanced device troubleshooting, we're going to do lots of videos on this because this is our this is our top issue, right, in terms of getting you self-sufficient on, on our config. Uh, and learning resources, okay, so the demo environment is here, you know, we're building out a new set of videos for V6 and uh, our documentation is kept constantly up to date. So again, just wanted to run through that very quickly, the overview of the dashboard, it's really useful. Again, if you have any feedback on it, do please send, hit the feedback button and let us know. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember to hit subscribe and like down below. Keep following this channel. We're going to do lots more tutorial videos in the coming months.